Cheers, guys. That's life. I'm just doing the B of A two videos over there and then here. But I'm also doing in the meantime just get a little bit restricted an LML 125 service. Standard nothing to be grinded milled. You know these LML cases do have the SI carburetor and reed valve beneath it. Pretty closed intake here, so a lot of potential, but I just I don't want to talk about tuning now. <laughs> I want to talk about something else. I just realized I never told you which spare parts do you need to get an Indian LML engine to the state of the art of Vespa Peaks engines in Europe. As I always collect the spare parts I exchange, I now quickly want to show you which parts you have to exchange to service an LML engine and to get it to the state of the art of a Vespa PX engine. What do we have? Let's start with the bearings. Stutter bearing of course, clutch bearing and the dry shaft bearing. Same with the seals, they're quite funny, um, especially the stutter with LML engines does sometimes completely dissolve yeah of course um, check out the other video what spare parts to use I'm gonna link it in this guide and same applies to the Kickstarter rubbers too LML rubbers all over inside the engine outside the engine on the frame they have the tendons <laughs> they do get hard I would also exchange to kickstart the rubbers as well as the kickstart the gear and of course also these um, for instance these seal rings rubber rings under the dust protection plate under the rear brake they are really hard already but that's standard procedure if you service an engine what else Clutch wise, new pressure plate, self explaining. Yeah, Crown Castle nut, we do not use it anymore. We do use a collar nut. Nah, I can't quickly find one, it's already in the engine. And what else do we have there? Of course, you take a new cruciform, use Piaccio, they are the best. And what you will discover just right away, get a new gear selector rod as the thread seems to be a little bit different from the LML and the Piaccio cruciforms and selector rods. Barely you get the LML selector rod, even if the thread is fine, into a new Piaccio. So I would just just get a new one, it's not that expensive. These are the small parts and the most important part of servicing an LML is getting a new crankshaft. The standard crankshafts of LML, they always have a groove here, no idea why, they're rubbish. They're really, 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 really bad. They twist like butter. I'm going to put a video um, at the end of this guide. And they get wobbly, etc. and so on. And then this um, bottom end bearing dies and uh, the crankshaft gets, and the cylinder gets stuck. Exchange it. Use a Matsukeli rotary valve crankshaft. It's perfectly fine. What do we do when we are exchanging the crankshaft? You have to ensure the perfect press fit between the flywheel and the crankshaft. So, get this ventile grinding paste and take the flywheel and put it on the stump and just grind it to ensure here perfect press fit. You have two pastes here, a rough one and a fine one. And there you go.
these are the parts you need to exchange when you service an LML engine. Guys, it's been a pleasure as always. Cheers, have a good one. What is it with grinding, flowing, at the example of the BFA engine? I mean, we do have some edges here that we have to round and to protect the cables of the stator. But we also have some internal flow potentials. I mean, wait. Let me show you one thing. I am not an expert. I just made one, two, three dozens or so engines but let me show you this boost port here so from my understanding where's my pointer? my pointer is here you see the gas is coming from here so it has an edge here which means it has to go like this if we do round the whole thing here, yeah, wait. If we do round it like here, like marked, if we do round it like marked, it doesn't have to go chuck, chuck, so or chuck, chuck, chuck. It really goes in like that, and that's all about it i just don't like edges you see this here it's the same it has to go like this and then this instead of if you round it a bit it already goes like same here some gas will come in here here it has to go up and tuck 90 degrees so we just round it a bit and at least for good consciousness at least for good conscious and for the eye Let's just round this thing up a bit.
Biest! Sorry, ja. Bist du Depper, dieser 